Welcome back to Spank Ranch Garage. Today's project is mounting some wheels on some old Volkswagen drums that have a different bolt pattern. The Volkswagen pattern is four by 130, meaning you have four lugs on a 130 millimeter circle evenly spaced. And the wheel I need to mount is four by 156 millimeters, meaning 156 millimeter circle, four bolt holes. This isn't drawn to scale, but this essentially shows what I'm trying to do here. I'm going to rotate the wheel pattern 90 degrees from the factory Volkswagen pattern. And to drill these hubs accurately, we're gonna utilize 3D printing for my brother at Print Practical. So I'll give you a link to his channel in the description. To do this, I'm gonna use this half inch bushing. This bushing is going to guide my drill bit. So this is approximately, should be uh, 500 on the money, but close enough, right? And I believe it's by three quarter. Yeah. So you can get this at Tractor Supply. It's just a couple bucks, made in USA. It's a bronze flange bushing, half inch ID by three quarter OD. The reason I chose this bushing is because a 12 millimeter stud made by Dorman here, it's an M12 by 150, also made in USA, one of Dorman's probably only US products these days. Um, these take a half inch drill hole for the splines, so this bushing will guide a half inch drill, and that's what I need to press these studs in. And then for lugs, obviously I'm just using a uh, El Cheapo uh, Amazon M12 by 150 lug nut. So let's model this up in Fusion, and we'll send the file to my brother and get it printed out. So here's this simple little fixture. Looks just like a wheel spacer, but essentially this inner pattern is going to bolt to the wheel hub the way it is. And then this outer pattern has the uh, bore size of this bushing. So I'm gonna step around, plug the bushing in, drill the hole, move it out, move to the next one, drill the hole, work my way around like that. Everything should be nice and true and the wheel should run great. So just got back from the print practical lab. Of course, he went above and beyond making this template for me. Put our name here, his name here. Uh, it's two color print. Did a really nice job with it. So the way this works, you got your four tapered seats here that fit the drum. Drop this bad boy on here. And then drop two lug nuts on to center it up. We already have our half inch drill bushing pressed into the drum here. That's gonna be what we drill for for our new pattern. All right, let's drill our first hole. As you can see here, we've got our four holes drilled. Nice and true to the original bolt pattern. And there they are, they just fit. I was worried about the thickness of the wall of the drum, but you can see here, I've got over a quarter inch of wall thickness there. So I'm gonna press my studs in on these outer holes, just enough meat to make it happen. Should be good. Before anyone says, oh, the holes are too close to the edge, whatever. Look at how the factory Polaris wheel is. The actual mating surface crosses through the bolt hole. This whole mating surface here is all on smooth material on the drum. So this is gonna work excellent. All right. Let's 
So that wraps up this episode of Spank Ranch Garage. Uh, this example, I was adapting 4x130 Volkswagen pattern to 4x156 Polaris pattern. But this concept applies to pretty much any car, buggy, lawnmower, whatever the hell you want. Um, you know, as long as you got enough meat on the drum or on the hub, you can do this. So if you know somebody with a 3D printer, you have one yourself. Special shout out again to Print Practical. I know he overdid all this. It's very elaborate, but it exactly served its purpose. This fixture is still good to redrill many wheels, many hubs, whatever. I got both my drums done for this project. Very happy with how it turned out. So thanks for watching. See you next time on Spank Ranch Garage.